للعبادة تلقى السعادة قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة تلقى السعادة تلقى النعيم رمضان زمان البركات رمضان زمان الحسنات رمضان زمان البركات رمضان زمان الحسنات رمضان مجال الصلوات طوبى للنفس بتقواها رمضان كريم 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 شهر عظيم 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 رمضان كريم 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 شهر عظيم 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 قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة تلقى السعادة تلقى النعيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم You are tuned into Islam the natural way. In today's presentation, Sheikh Muhammad Awal will enlighten us on the miracles, mysteries, and benefits of fasting. First, here is a recitation from Al Quran by Hafiz Saleh Rahim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. وَإِذَا أَنْعَمْنَا عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ أَعْرَضَ وَنَآ بِجَانِبِهِ وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ فَذُو دُعَاءٍ عَرِيضٍ قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ كفرتم به ثم كفرتم به من أضل ممن هو في شقاق بعيد سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهير صدق الله العظيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنختدي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله وأصحابه ومن اتبعهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد اللهم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأبدة من لساني يفقه قولي My dear brothers of Islam and for those of you who are not Muslim watching this program Today the topic in front of you is uh, uh, the mysteries of fasting Fasting in the month of uh, Ramadan uh, fasting is so very important in our life that in Islam we have a particular month, the month of Ramadan, which is the ninth month of, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the calendar of Islam, that Muslims all over the world, we do fast. And why do we have to fast? Allah in his wisdom, he created mankind and he know the kind of things that we should do to be on the right, you know, uh, 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 health so that we, our life on earth will be so beautiful. And so therefore, fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam that each and every Muslim have to do if he's alive without having any problem and he's capable to do. And so uh, we in the month of fasting, in the month of Ramadan. But there is injunction in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah said, Ya ayyukha allazina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam kama kutiba ala allazina min kablukum la allakum tatakun ayyaman ma'aduda we will deal with that let's take the verse verse you know step by step ya ayyuha allazina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam kama kutiba ala allazina min kablukum la allakum tatakun Allah said in the Quran O you who believe fasting is prescribed for you just like 
it was prescribed for those who came before you. That means those who came before us, they also fast. Moses fasted. Abraham fasted. Jesus fasted. In fact, Moses, Moses fasted for 40 days before he received their Ten Commandments or the Torah. Jesus fasted on the Mount Oli before receiving the Gospel. Muhammad fasted in the Gari Khira, the cave of Khira, before the Quran was revealed upon him. So fasting was given to all the prophets that walked the earth. Somewhere in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the New Testament, in the book of Mark, where Jesus was saying when the disciple couldn't um, do healing and preaching effectively, they couldn't you know, do miracle to the people, Jesus said, it's because of your unbelief. How be it? All these things could not have been done except through fasting and prayers. So fasting plays a major role. It keeps you aligned with your own creator. So from the verse that I've just read, Kutiba alaykum usiyam, fasting was prescribed for you. Kama kutiba ala lazina min kabli. Just like it was prescribed for those who came before you. Now look at this word, kutiba alaykum usiyam. Fasting prescribed, prescribed for you. Now if you go to the doctor, what he does is that he put the stethoscope around you. He check your pulses, check your heart, check your ears, put something under your tongue, check you out, in and out. And then eventually he do what? He prescribed for you after checking you out. Now he know the kind of sickness that you are in. So he prescribed for you something that will be better for you if you take. It will kill, sort of like a diagnosis. He diagnoses it and he prescribed for you the medication to take. Look at this verse again. Allah said, Kutiba alaykum usiyam. I, Allah, have prescribed fasting for you. Prescribed. So therefore, Allah is the one that prescribed fasting for us. Kama kutiba ala lazina min kablikum. Just like it was prescribed for those who came for you. At the end of the verse, Allah said, Wa anta sumu khayrun lakum in kuntun ta'alamu. If you know the importance of fasting, you will hurry, hurry, hurry to go and fast. If you know the importance of fasting, the good that it does for you, Allah said, you will hurry up to go and fast. Therefore, there is something good in fasting. Do you know that any time you have food in front of you, the moment you take up your hand, you get a morsel of the food, you direct it to your mouth, about to put it in your mouth, the whole digestive system, your lungs, your throat, the larynx, the bladder, the esophagus, the intestine, all of these digestive system get up to go to work. Why? Even if you swallow a small nut in your mouth, all the system goes to work. Imagine if you don't eat for 10 hours, just like we fast for 10 hours, 11 hours, wouldn't your system be happy that you're not eating? Because anytime you put something in your mouth, all of them go to work. And the more you eat, the more they keep going to work. And anything that is subject to working all the time, all the time, it is also subject to break down. Just like if you have a car, and you drive hitter and theta and here and out and in and out and here and there and you'll be driving all, the car is going to get tired and one day it's going to break down on the highway for you. Why? Because you did not take care of the car. The same thing applies to mankind. You eat and drink and eat. You eat everything. Take time to clear the system. Get rid of the system that has accumulated in you which can cause you so many sicknesses. So Allah said, eat all you can eat for 11 months. But since I created you, I know how you feel. I have given you, I have prescribed for you one month to clear the system just so you will be realigned. I keep giving you the example of a car. If you have a car, take it to the mechanic. He changed the spark plug, he changed the thermometer, he you know, he, 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 he 
put the new oil, new engine oil, new this and new that, and they change this and that, and once you spark the car, how does it sound? Pew! The sound even changes because he has changed all the black fluid, the darkened fluid that has accumulated, you know, you know, as time goes on that you use all the time. The same thing applies to your system. You eat so much thing that it needs to be rid of. So if you don't eat for a whole 10 hours, 11 hours, when it's time for you to eat, the part, the digestive system will begin to attack each other to get rid of whatever is left over by the time for you to break the fasting, your system is clear. You become sound mentally, physically, spiritually. You become sound. Allah does not eat. Allah does not eat. The angels do not eat. They don't eat. Allah wants to spiritualize you, lift you from the base that is causing you all this thing. So to speak, Allah wants to angelize you, rise up from the base of that human nature that you are, you know, engulf yourself in. Fasting is very, very important in your life. If you fast, it makes you think about your neighbor that is hungry next door. Well, you are rich, but when you're fasting, you go through the feeling of hunger. So you begin to realize that your neighbor is also feeling angry. So you take some of the things, the material, the food, maybe some money, give it to him in respect of uh, the hunger. So fasting makes you to identify yourself with the poor people around you. Fasting gets you very close to God Almighty because Allah said, according to what the messenger have said, fasting is for me. I am the one that will give you the reward in fasting. If you fast, the first 10 days is for Rahmah. The first 10 days that you fast is for forgiveness. And the last 10 days is for emancipation from hellfire. So it has been divided. Fasting is so very important that the messenger said, as Junna, fasting is a shield. It protects you from harmful things. When it's time for fasting in the month of Ramadan, the doors of heaven is open for the bliss, goodness. Angels all over the place looking for a fasting person to give him reward. But the door of hellfire is locked up. The devil himself is locked up. So there is no saying, well, I'm, I didn't fast today. Maybe you should be fasting, but somehow you didn't fast. You should be fasting, but you broke your fast intentionally. Don't go saying it's the devil work. No, the devil is changed. Spiritually, he's been changed. So the messenger said, if you break your fast intentionally, it is you that causes that. Fasting gets you to think rationally. Fasting makes you a better person. Fasting actually takes away a lot of weight in your body. Fasting is so very important in our life. The messenger said, you get a lot of reward. You reap so many, so much reward during fasting because if you break a small, a quarter of a date, you give it to your brother for him to break his fast. The amount of blessing that you accumulate, only Allah he knows. Because we know if we pray, we get this kind of a reward. We know that. We know if we read the Quran, we get this kind of reward. We know if we give alms, we get this kind of reward. But only fasting, we don't know. We don't know the amount of reward that we get. Allah said, he is the one that you are fasting for. And he is the one that will give you the reward that is consistent with the way you fast. So you're fasting for the sake of Allah, subhanAllah. It's a difficult thing. You could eat, hide yourself in the corner and eat. Hide yourself in the corner and drink. You could be 
you know, in the closet, eat and drink and satisfy yourself, but because of Allah, you don't do all that. Allah look at you with the eye of mercy and he forgive you a lot of sins that you have, uh, the, the, the sins that you have uh, committed of which you don't know, and the sin that you have committed of which you know, Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. So in the month of Ramadan, you get a lot of, uh, you know, blessings. If you get blessings in other months, like Rajab Shawwal, uh, Jumara Awwal, and on and on, and on, you get reward. But in the month of Ramadan, that is the month of Islam. That is the month of the Quran. The Quran is the constitution for the Muslim. So you read more Quran. Tahamid, Taslim, Tahajjud, Takra'ul Quran, you know, Tahalil. You mention Allah's name and then you do good, you smile to your brother, you, you know, you invoke Allah a lot. The blessing that comes along with that is a lot. You can't even quantify it. So you have to exert more energy in doing a lot of good stuff in the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is a scale for each and every Muslim that is walking the earth. Those that cannot fast, Allah, he knows. A traveler, Allah has said, because of the difficulties and the hardship in traveling, you can put down your fasting, and if you get to your destination, you can fast. But if you want to fast, fine. A woman who is pregnant, and she's afraid if she doesn't eat, the baby might be in problem. She could drop her fasting, and then she fasts later after she gives birth. A woman that is in lactating a baby, breastfeeding a baby, if she don't eat, the baby might not get the good and the right nourishment. She can put down her fast and fast some other time. You know, a sick person, old person, can put down the fast and fast at a later day when he gets well. So it is not like Allah is forcing you. It is something that is good for your system. It is something that is good for your body. It is the chance for you to accumulate a lot of blessing. So, kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ala lazina min kablukum la allakum tatakun. Then Allah said, ayyaman ma'aduda. This is a very simple day, 30 days. When you compare with 365 days, that is something that is negligible. 30 days, ayyaman ma'aduda. So Allah said, وَالنَّزُّلِ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحَمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَا يَزُدِّ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا We have sent down the Qur'an except to be a healing for mankind. One of the healing is such that when you fast, you have self-induced a healing mechanism to your system. So definitely, fasting plays a major role in our lives. So my brother said in Islam, you are doing a very wonderful thing when you are fasting. So I commend you a lot to do as much as you can to fast in the month of Ramadan. And if you have time, you could fast on Monday and Thursday. This is the time uh, that the messenger used to fast. He fasts other ways too, but just that he doesn't want to overload you with, with a lot of things. So he say, you fast, but break down your fasting and do something that is good for your own system. The Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu in the Arabian desert, he said, when you come to eat, divide your stomach into three. You eat, you drink water with the second one, and the third, you leave it for air to blow and to you know, make the movement to be, very, uh, to be sound and clear. That means you don't have to eat too much to your food. You become so you know, sleepy, you can't even think right. So eating too much food definitely causes a lot of problem for mankind. And fasting, as we know, it uh, reduces the sicknesses of uh, you know, diabetes because it doesn't need so much uh, food to be eaten because it causes the sugar to spike up or hypoglycemia. All these things happen when you eat a lot. So scientists are cautioning us to fast, to fast once in a while. Then there is something called the intermittent fasting. Some fast for like four hours, three hours. It's all good. But what scientists are saying is that long hours fasting actually does more good to the system of mankind because it gives time for the system to get rid of all that he's eating and then realign it with something that is consistent with uh, 
his uh, stomach. So fasting, as we know today, it retards, you know, aging. A lot of people don't want to age. I know people don't want to just age, but fasting a lot, all the time, it reduces the speed of aging. It even increases beauty of the body. Your skin becomes so beautiful because it is not saturated with so much eating. And the more you eat here and there, the more the system cannot take it so much. And the more it uh, you know, causes certain ailment in your system that is not good. All this being said and done, scientists are cautioning mankind to be very careful with the food that we eat. Fasting plays a major role in detoxifying certain sicknesses that get into your kidney and causes harm to you. In fact, it injects new spirit in your body if you fast. Scientists say anyone who fasts, it is as if you have self-induced surgery to yourself. So fasting is something that is so very important in our life that we have to do. Hollywood, as I'm speaking right now, they spend more than 2.2 billion dollars, US dollars, just so they could lose weight. Why spending all this money to lose weight when in fact you could fast? Allah have given you, or God Almighty have given you the whole 12 months to eat and drink, but he asks you to use just one month to clear the system. And that is exactly what the Muslims are doing every year in the month of Ramadan. You take just one month Fasting is so very important because it clarifies the eye, the vision, the optical lenses in your eye. Get rest at a time that you are fasting. They don't act, they don't work so much because the more you eat, the more, you know, the disturbances of the system itself, since we don't know how much we eat, we keep on eating and eating and eating, and sometimes it causes, you know, adverse effects to our life, which causes danger to our life, and it brings all this health problem. Fasting, according to medical science, it's, it makes you lose weight, and that is why people are spending too much money. You want to lose weight? The best thing is to fast. The Muslim fasts once every year, and also we fast Mondays and Thursdays, that is the sunnah. That is how the messenger Muhammad fasted, Mondays and Thursday. And so if you want to really lose weight, if you want to realign yourself to look healthy, then you have to invest fasting in your system. Once you fast, a lot of things that you want in your life will become beautiful. Fasting actually makes you look good. Fasting doesn't let the accumulated sicknesses and detriment in your system to be part and parcel of your body. So when you fast, you sort of remove them in your system. And this is not what I'm saying, but scientists are saying, there is a scientist by the name uh, Cecilia Bragg. This woman has spent a lot of time writing books about fasting, and she has recognized that one of the best things that mankind could do to himself is to fast. Myself, my doctor was telling me, he said, Mr. Muhammad Awal, I know you don't have too much time to come to um, you know, the lab for medical checkup because you travel a lot. Sometimes you go out of the country. Do three things for me, my doctor told me. He said, number one, eat good, eat right, and do not eat too much food. And any time you go to um, a gathering, a ceremony, somewhere, and you were given food. That doesn't mean the food in front of you, you have to consume everything. You could eat portion because your health is in the portion that you eat. You could eat five times a day, but in portion, not just one sitting. So he cautioned me not to eat too much. Number two, he said I should do a lot of walking or jogging or running. If you can run, you can, you know, jog, you could walk. Give yourself two miles, three miles, one mile, one and a half miles. 
anything that you can do because the more you fast, the more it, it squeezes the toxic waste in your body. So my doctor said, drink a lot of water to detoxify you, to cleanse your system. Drinking water is very, very important. And so therefore, he asked me to do these three things. He said, Mr. Muhammad Awo, if you do these three things, there's going to be, there is no way you will be visiting this hospital because these three things are the killer of mankind. We eat a lot and we, still, we seem to lose our equilibrium. And so therefore, I have to reduce my eating. And as you can see, you know, as old as I am, I'm still kicking. Why? Because I'm not overweight, because I watch what I eat. I do a lot of things that a young man could do. I can jump, I can run, I could play game, I could do a lot of things. But if you are so obese because of too much eating, you are shutting down the, you know, the lungs, shutting down you know, the brain, shutting down the ability to think and rationalize. Too much eating makes you become dull and you can do a lot of things that you're supposed to be doing. So fasting, in fact, is one of the good medical advice given by doctors today. And so I think each and every one of you should fast. SubhanAllah. Allah who created you and I, scientists, what do they do? I mean, uh, aerobic uh, teachers, they ask you to jump and to flip and do your hands this and do your hands that, ask you to be doing all this, uh, you know, exercising in the hope of losing weight. It is very, very good. But at least you have the chance to eat for the whole 11 months. The one month that is extra, take it and clear your system. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَكَدْ حَلَكْنَ insan." I am Allah who created mankind and I know how his body feels, what he thinks, how he does his thing because Allah said I am very close to mankind than his own juggler vein. The juggler vein is so very close to us. So Allah said, he is closer to you than your own juggler vein. Meaning, he is so closer to you because he created you, he can give you the law that is consistent with your life. Not just what the religious book said, especially the Quran, which we have taken fasting to be so much important in our life. The scientists, through research of the human body, they've come to realize that it is so very important. It is so vital for the livelihood of mankind to fast. Once you fast, a lot of things you could do. Once you fast, a lot of things that could happen to you medically would uh, be realigned in a nice system. Definitely, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully, we will do it again. Hazar billahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Subhanakallahu bihamdik, hashadu la ilaha ila ant, astaghfiruka wa tubi ilayk. Until tomorrow, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan siyam wa dua Ramadan aman wa safa Ramadan siyam wa dua Ramadan aman wa safa Ramadan suluk wa ata Ahlam bi qudumik ya Ramadan Ramadan Ramadan, Kareem, Kareem, Kareem,